every one of us for being all of this meeting. And then I want to be, I want you to be taking note of yourself. You will see that you are not the same since you have been coming to the church. And that's the significance of coming to the church. Just continue to look at yourself, look at how God has been visiting you, what God has been doing. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, our healing will be permanent in Jesus' name. Only look at when you are sleeping, a lot of things, how God has been visiting you, on your Bible reading, on your closeness to God, on what God has been telling your heart. You will see that you are not the same. And how God has been providing for you, and God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. Uh, let's open our book to book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 8. Book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 8. Anybody that see it can read for us. Book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 8. Moya, drink your water. We want you in the church. Anybody that see it, immediately you see it, you can read for us. Anyone that see it, Anyone that see it, you can read it. Yeah, you can read. Praise the Lord. So God is telling us that we should learn how to give 10% of whatever we have, our time. I've told us, a lot of us, we have this uh, and bill in our hand. Go to house to house. Just drop them in their door. Bradimentary, you know how we are doing it. Very long time. Drop them. That's, you are giving the 10% of your time. Your income. Do not think that anything is small. Learn how to give to the Lord. The Bible let me know where your treasure is. That's where your mind will be. Learn how to give 10% of your income to the Lord. Preach it to people. Invite people to the church. And then God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. For every one of us that we are inviting people and we have not seen results, do not bother. Just keep inviting them. The mistake you do is by not inviting them. Just keep inviting them. Um, Mr. James, you know how many years I've known you before you started coming to the church? You get what I'm saying? It has been a long time we know each other before you decided that, okay, I will be coming to Bible school. Look, so just continue to invite them. You don't know one day. They will just say, okay, I will follow you. So you get what I'm saying? Do not stop. Just continue to do your part and leave the remaining part to God. God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Um, call my sister here. Yeah? Let's read our Titan offering. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we thank you. We glorify your name for how you have been blessing us in this church. We thank you, Lord, because of your grace. We thank you, Lord, because of your mighty hand. Father, continue to be with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Out of what you are giving to us, we bring this token. Let it be acceptable before you in Jesus' name. And let your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Close your eyes so that you will not know those people who bring or do not bring. But continue to pray for those people who does not know how to give. That God touch their mind to learn how to give their time, their income, their house, whatever they have for Almighty God. And I want you to keep praying that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to provide a permanent plate of worshiping for us as he provided cars for us. Is going to provide permanent place of worshiping for us, and the name of the Lord is being is going to be glorified. Thank you, bra, uh, sister, my sister, come again, come. Give everybody 
Two, two. Let's use it to invite people. Drop it in their doors. When you are passing through, maybe you are just trying to throw around, just to uh, to go from one place to place. Just drop it. Any house you get to, drop it in their house. Don't bother. If they are not in the house, if they are, or you meet anybody in the road, give it to them. That I invite you to my church. Uh, our dear brothers, you are, you, are, you are driving. Give it to your passengers. <laughs> they will be happy. They will be happy. Yeah, they will know. Oh, so you are so responsible like this. Because you know what? If you are not responsible, you can't share something like this. It is when you are responsible, you are able to share it. So they will say, oh, bra- give it to my, uh, your Moya, take it. Yeah, you continue to collect until you, or I give it to him. You, you drink water now. Every day you drink water. Eh? Continue to give. Give it to Moya for me. Moya is my best friend. <laughs> give it to Moya. Moya, give it to your sister. Anywhere you go, when you go to the store, give it to them. Just drop it on their table. Say, I invite you to my church. Yes, I love you. Oh, my Moya. <laughs> Let's share the grace together. Let's stand up to share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Mr. James, please, two, two. Uh, the drinks. And then do not forget to take anything on the table. Anything you want. If you want bag, let me know. I will give you bag. Anything you want. Mr. James, please help me give everybody two, two soda they want. The bag is there. I mean, more days to shoot the guy, put the guy down. The guy. Nine more days, right? Nine more days to school? Yeah, yeah. Nine more days, right? <laughs> yeah. I need, I need your son for, for a tutor. You oh. hear me? I need it for a tutor. Oh, okay. And I'm going to pay it. Oh. <laughs> Just, I'm ca- I ain't damaged it, should You tell me what he want, I'll pay him. I'll find a way of paying him every day, cash money. Okay. Yes, sir. Those are the birds. Thank you. Power in the blood. Power in the blood. Since things are lost in its life-giving flow, there's wonderful power in the blood. Will you do service for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood. Power in the blood. Will you live daily his praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. There's power, power, wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There's power, power, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb.
gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 20. The gospel. And it came to pass that on one of those days, as he taught the people in the temple and preached the gospel, the chief priests and the scribes came upon him with the elders and spake unto him, saying, Tell us, by what authority doest thou these things? Or who is he that gave thee this authority? And he answered and said unto them, I will also ask you one thing, and answer me. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or of men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say, Why then believed ye him not? But and if we say of men, all the people will stone us, for they be persuaded that John was a prophet. And they answered that they could not tell whence it was. And Jesus said unto them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. Then began he to speak to the people this parable. A certain man planted a vineyard, and let it forth to husbandmen, and went into a far country for a long time. And at the season he sent a servant to the husbandmen, that they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard. But the husbandmen beat him, and sent him away empty. And again he sent another servant, and they beat him also, and entreated him shamefully, and sent him away empty. And again he sent a third, and they wounded him also, and cast him out. Then said the Lord of the vineyard, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son. It may be they will reverence him when they see him. But when the husbandmen saw him, they reasoned among themselves, saying, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, that the inheritance may be ours. So they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. What therefore shall the Lord of the vineyard do unto them? He shall come and destroy these husbandmen, and shall give the vineyard to others. And when they heard it, they said, God forbid. And he beheld them and said, What is this then that is written? The stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner. Whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. And the chief priests and the scribes, the same hour, sought to lay hands on him, and they feared the people, for they perceived that he had spoken this parable against them. And they watched him, and sent forth spies, which should feign themselves just men, that they might take hold of his words, that so they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. And they asked him, saying, Master, we know that thou sayest and teachest rightly, neither acceptest thou the person of any, but teachest the way of God truly. Is it lawful for us to give tribute unto Caesar, or no? But he perceived their craftiness, and said unto them, Why tempt ye me? Show me a penny. Whose image and superscription hath it? They answered and said, Caesar's. And he said unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which be Caesar's, and unto God the things which be God's. And they could not take hold of his words before the people, and they marveled at his answer, and held their peace. Then came to him certain of the Sadducees, which deny that there is any resurrection, and they asked him, saying, Master, Moses wrote unto us, If any man's brother die, having a wife, and he die without children, that his brother should take his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. There were therefore seven brethren, and the first took a wife and died without children, and the second took her to wife, and he died childless, and the third took her, and in like manner the seven also, and they left no children and died. Last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife of them is she? For seven had her to wife. And Jesus answering said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. Neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. Now that the dead are raised, even Moses showed at the bush, when he called the Lord the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. For he is not a God of the dead, but of the living, for all live unto him. Then certain of the scribes answering said, Master, thou hast well said. And after that they durst not ask him any question at all. And he said unto them, 
How say they that Christ is David's son? And David himself saith in the book of Psalms, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. David therefore calleth him Lord. How is he then his son? Then in the audience of all the people, he said unto his disciples, Beware of the scribes, which desire to walk in long robes, and love greetings in the markets, and the highest seats in the synagogues, and the chief rooms at feasts, which devour widows' houses, and for a show make long prayers. The same shall receive greater damnation. The Lord across the world.
as we call, revive us again.
like a bird. She's flying from coast to coast. And then, suddenly, an attempt on the bird to roast. But thanks be to God, she cannot be stopped by the host. And thanks to God Almighty, for Jesus has come to save the lost. There's a power coming from Calvary. There's a power coming from the throne. And that power coming from Calvary from the throne will touch you. You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we are escaped i'm telling you every chain will be broken anything that tied you down call it satan call it sickness call it evil spirit there is a glorious escape for everyone today and that's your story for the month of june as the gck returns with a theme supernatural deliverance from christ live from ilori Quara state and scheduled to fly across the world their satellite, social media, radio and television. GCK 2.0. This June, Global Crusade with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi, River Brains, Supernatural Deliverance from Christ, June 23rd till June 28th, 2022. Your special appointment for the Supernatural Deliverance from Christ has now arrived. Because I'm telling you that every poverty is cancelled. Sicknesses are cancelled. All deformities and the works of the devil of the flesh, they're cancelled in Jesus' name. Get set, for together we must fly to our supernatural deliverance from Christ's destination. Your testimony will be greater than you ever imagined. DCK 2.0, live from Ilori Quara State. Join us. everyone to the final night of this great crusade. Tonight, the Lord gives me assurance that he will visit you in a special way. And every blessing that Calvary has provided, whatever you have not got, Tonight, this final night, everything will come to you. Already we have heard testimonies of great, great, great things that the Lord has done. And we can say all together that God is good unto us. He is good. To me, to you, to your family. And all these six days of the crusade, the Lord has been good. Now, tonight, we're going to do something special. Number one, there is ready, immediate miracle for you to carry away. Number two, there is immediate, inexhaustible miracle that will be flowing, flowing, flowing in your life beyond this year for the rest of your life in Jesus' name. Number three, you have enough and now you will also spare other people. The people you touch will receive a miracle. The people you look at will receive a miracle. Miracles will be your companions all the days of your life. You will not lack. I will not lack. Everything I need is supplied. Father, we well, thank you today. 
will bless your name. I will glorify you. Thank you for what you have done. For salvation, for healing, for deliverance, for those who are raised from the dead, and for cancers who have healed, ulcers who have healed, tuberculosis who have healed, blind eyes who have healed, broken legs you have healed, and our lives, broken hearts that you have mended. We give you all the glory. Receive a praise, receive a glory in Jesus' name. We come tonight with great expectation. And we know on these grounds and everywhere all over the world, your power will be sent forth. There will be salvation. There will be healing. There will be miracle. There will be deliverance. There will be the breaking of yokes. And you will give us enough for ourselves and then to reach out to other people. Yeah. We we'll pray that henceforth, from this day, your miracle power will keep on accompanying us everywhere we go in Jesus' name. Yeah. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, as I said, we're talking about today, about tomorrow, about the end of this year, about going on to the next year. And I'm talking to you tonight on sevenfold miracle for every true believer henceforth. Today, and then all the days that follow. Miracle carrier. Where are you? You will carry miracle. Sevenfold miracle for every true believer henceforth. Look at Mark chapter 9, verse 23. It said, Jesus said unto him, Remember, that person already is gone to glory. The him there. You are now the person the Lord is focusing on. Jesus said unto who? Unto you. If thou canst believe, that means if you can only believe, all things are possible to him that believeth all things. Salvation, all things, healing. All things deliverance, all things incredible miracles, all things power from on high, all things open door. As you believe, only believe all things for your spirit, all things for your soul, all things for your body, all things for your place of work, all things in your family, all things, everything you desire, if you only believe. The Lord who cannot lie, who never lied. The Lord whose word cannot fall to the ground. He assures you all things are possible to him that believeth. How? Chapter 11, verse 23. In chapter 11, verse 23, it says, For verily I say unto... Verily I say unto... You. you see, there are people, when they hear the word of God, they say it's talking to everybody except themselves. The Lord is talking to you. In the predicament, you find yourself. In the sin, you find yourself. In the sickness, you find yourself. In the satanic affliction, you find yourself. He speaks to you. And when you hear his voice, you hear his word, and you accept that word, all things are going to be possible in your life. For verily, for truly, assuredly, certainly, I say unto you, and remember, when Christ says anything, it's like the word on the first day of creation, when God said, let there be, there is not a devil, 
and there is not a Satan, there is not an enemy to contradict that when he says, for verily I say unto you, it will be done, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, whosoever, I am that whosoever, the mountain in your life tonight, mountain of oppression, mountain of difficulty, mountain of challenges, I'm going to speak to that mountain tonight. Yeah. It must go. Yeah. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he has said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. You miss your amen. He shall have. I will have. You will have. We will have whatsoever we say. Then in verse 24, it says, Therefore, because you will have whatsoever you say, therefore, because there is nothing that can stop that salvation, that healing, that deliverance, that miracle, therefore, because the word from the final authority has come, and nothing can contradict it. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire, you desire peace of mind, whatsoever things you desire, you desire forgiveness, whatsoever things you desire, you desire freedom, that the sin that had bound you, the habit that had bound you for so long, you want the chain to be broken. Whatsoever things you desire, you desire peace in your life and peace in your marriage and peace in your family. Whatsoever things you desire, you desire a miracle. You desire a breakthrough. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and you shall have them. Yeah. When do we have the answer to our prayer? It is when we believe that we receive them. And the message is going on. If you believe, you receive. Even during the message, that's the time you'll have them. If you believe that you receive at the time of the final amen, that's when you have them. If you believe that tonight you have a testimony. I have a testimony. And if that is your faith and you believe that, the moment you believe that you receive, you shall have them. I will have. You know, when there's faith in your heart, of course there's faith. You know, God cannot lie, that's faith. You know, Christ cannot lie, that's faith. And you know that nothing is impossible with God, that's the faith. With that faith in your heart, you must have something. Your desire will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Well, tonight, the Lord is going to grant you all those desires in your heart in Jesus' name. Seven-fold miracle. The seven, M, that's one. I, that's two. R, that's three. A, that's for miracle. That's uh, number four. C, that's five. L, that's six. E, that's seven. If the word miracle, each of the letters spelling all together, miracle, seven in your life, you will carry go. I will carry go. Number one, M, manifold miracles from our mighty creator. Manifold miracles 
from our mighty creator. Look at Psalm 104, verse 24. It says, O Lord, how manifold are thy works, the miracles of the Lord, the doings of the Lord, the deeds of the Lord, the manifestations of the Lord, manifold. And in your life tonight, many, varied, diverse miracles in Jesus' name. O Lord, how manifold are thy works in wisdom as thou made them all. He is the creator. Yesterday, today, and forever is the creator. And anything that is missing in your soul, in your spirit, in your body, in your life, in your family, tonight, a new creation will take place. And then it says, the earth is full of thy riches. The earth is full of thy riches. Over here, at this center of the crusade, it will be full of the riches of his manifold miracles. And then, in every location, because God is there, is omnipresent, is omnipotent, is omniscient, and he knows all things, and he can do all things. Everywhere tonight, there will be the manifold miracle from the mighty creator in Jesus' name. Look at Luke chapter 18, verse 27. Luke chapter 18, verse 27. And he said, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. The things which are impossible with men. For example, you have a habit. You have an evil habit. A sinful habit. You try to break you slap yourself every time you do that thing. You walk on pebbles every time you do that thing. You say, I will not sleep on the bed today. I'll sleep on the ground. I will punish myself with all the punishment you give yourself and with all the things that the psychologists and the people have told you, impossible. But now, tonight, it is possible. The Lord will redeem your life. The Lord will change your life. The Lord will turn your life around. And what you have found impossible, what it says, the things which are impossible with men, with educated men, with idolatrous men, with occultic men, with powerful men, with financial men, with all those people, all the things that are impossible with man are possible tonight with God. Congratulations. You have come to the right place tonight. And what you desire that you thought was impossible, I couldn't have that tonight. What you desire and you, what you pray for and you believe that you receive them, you will have them. Amen. Amen. Manifold miracles from our mighty creator. I now, I incredible miracles what you can never think about incredible miracles for incorruptible creatures you see there are people they want to live an incorruptible life they want to live a life that is above birth. They try on their own. They could not. And when they saw that they couldn't, they have heard about Enoch. He lived all those 300 years incorruptible. They have heard about Samuel. He lived in the, in the house of Eli. He was incorruptible. They have heard about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They lived in Babylon, and they were incorruptible. They have heard about Daniel, and they lived an incorruptible life. They have heard about other people, too. Their lives were clean. Their lives were righteous. Their lives were beautiful. Their lives shone in the presence of the Lord. And they walked after the Lord in holiness and righteousness all the days of their lives. And they say, I want to be like that. You will be like that tonight. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all unrighteousness. And you come, as you come to the Lord and you present your heart, your mind, your body, your character, 
your behavior, you present that before the Lord and say, Lord, there's sin here. There's a spot here. There's uncleanness here. There's defilement here. There is evil there. And then you open that heart and that life unto the Lord. The Lord will forgive you. The Lord will set you free. And then the Lord will give you the power to go and sin no more. He'll tell you, neither do I condemn you. Condemnation is gone. Guilt is gone. And the freedom that the Lord has provided, that freedom comes to you. Then he says, go and sin no more. That's incorruptible. Incorruptible creature. Such people have incredible miracles. And in the coming year, everywhere you go, every day of your life, when you face challenges created by sinful men, created by wicked men, and they say, if you are not corrupt, if you don't want to be corrupt, then you are going to face difficulty. I'm telling you that all those difficulties the Lord will remove out of your life in Jesus' name. Incredible miracles. Incredible miracles for incorruptible creatures. Daniel chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 15. Now. If you be ready, here is a tyrant talking. Now, if you be ready, this is a cruel leader talking. Now, if you be ready, this is a despot talking. Now, if you be ready, this is a person that threatened to burn them alive. And he said, now, if you be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the carnage, flute, harp, sackbut, Satri and Dulcima and all kinds of idolatrous music. Ye fall down and worship the image which I have set up, have made well. But if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fairy furnace. Look at the question, and who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? That's why people compromise. When, you know, you confront people, or people confront you, and they say, I don't fear God. I don't believe there's judgment. I can do anything. I can waste your life. I can do this, and I can do that. And you see the way they are talking, and you know they mean it. And they say they have the final authority in your life. That's how people compromise. They might compromise into selling their body into sinfulness. They might compromise in giving bribes. They might compromise one way or the other. They are not incorruptible. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were incorruptible creature. The grace of God that came to their lives had turned their lives around and they became righteous and holy and incorruptible. Those are the people, as we go through life, you'll have incredible miracle. I said you will have incredible miracle but you know if every time there's temptation every time there's trial every time the people put pressure on you every time the people of the world they want to bend you to their own way you're always afraid and you're always timid it's okay 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 i will do what you say i'll forget christ i'll forget salvation i'll forget heaven i'll forget holiness i'll do what you say You'll never have incredible miracle. But then, uh, look at verse 16 here. Here is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, they didn't look down. They looked at his face, at the one that wanted to burn them in the fire. They said, O Nebuchadnezzar, we... We're not the kind of people you can intimidate. That we're not the kind of people you can cower. We made up our minds. We're facing and we're following the God of heaven. They said, we are not careful. We're not anxious. 
We're not timid. We're not trembling. And we're not going to answer thee in this matter. Then in verse 17, it says, If it be so, you have power. You can set up fire. You can burn your neighbor alive. And then creatures of God, you can throw them into your furnace. All right, go ahead. If it be so, our God whom we serve, that's what I'm telling you. Come serve God. Serve God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Whether people are there or not to praise you and to elevate you, just serve the Lord. Whether people see your faithfulness or not, just serve the Lord in the private, in the public, in church, and in the office. Anywhere you are, if you're a man of principle, if you're a man of dignity, if you're a man of holiness, if you're a man of your word, what you said before the Lord, I will serve the Lord. Go and carry that out. Get to your office. Don't be part of the corruption. If you have been part of the corruption in the past, you come to the Lord and you say, Lord, enough is enough. Now I will serve the Lord. I didn't hear you. You will serve the Lord and the grace of God and the strength of God and the power of God will uphold you in Jesus' name. And so they said, go ahead and make your fire. Our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fairy furnace. And he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. I want to pass that across to you. He will deliver you. From their spell, he will deliver you. From their curse, he will deliver you. And from all their threats, it will deliver you in Jesus' name. Nebuchadnezzar became angry. You know, there are people that live in this life. They are not watching at the purpose for living. They are watching the face of Nebuchadnezzar. They are not watching their own purpose and principle and their decision. That they are going to follow the Lord all the days of their lives. All they are watching is the face of Nebuchadnezzar. They are watching the face of that man. They are watching the face of that woman. And if they act in an angry way and they act as if they are going to pounce on them, they begin to tremble. That's why they never have incredible miracles because... They are not incorruptible creatures, but then they looked at Nebuchadnezzar. They said, Nebuchadnezzar, there's somebody higher than the highest. There's somebody greater than the greatest. There is somebody more mighty and powerful than the powerful people of this world. If it is so, go ahead and make your fire, but we will serve the Lord our God. And so Nebuchadnezzar became angry. Normally, sinners are always angry. It's part of the things, part of the property, and part of the nature, and part of the character of a sinner. If you find yourself every time, like Nicodemus, you are angry, you're furious. Why didn't they obey me? Why didn't they do what I said? Why didn't they put me above Christ? Why are they putting God as number one in their lives? And then they don't respect my threat. They get angry. The anger will soon be over. And so Nebuchadnezzar commanded that they should bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they bound them. And he commanded mighty men, hefty men, great men in his kingdom that they shall cast Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fire. Those people that cast them into the fire, the flame of the fire came out and burnt them and they died. I'm sorry for your enemies. I'm sorry for your persecutors. I'm sorry for the supporters of Nebuchadnezzar. If they don't repent, well, let them face God. And then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego 
when he threw them in there. Remember, these are incorruptible creatures. Whosoever, anyone in Christ, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. Old things are passed away. The old fidgeting and the old fear and the old timidity, everything passed away. And then you become a new incorruptible creature. If you have been saved, if you have been born again during this crusade, here on the grounds and anywhere you may be, that new nature of incorruptibility has now come upon you. You will go and you will stand straight. You will go and you will live straight. You will go and live by holiness and righteousness every day, all the days of your life in Jesus' name. And then God's incredible miracles will always take place in your life. They stood up. After they threw them into the fire and they were walking and they were told, Nebuchadnezzar rose up and he looked, he peeped in, out to see those men. Israel, Jews will never disobey me anymore in their lives. And then he was surprised. Your enemies will be surprised. Yeah.